Hello, fellow Pokemon listeners, who have you? And today we're doing Pokemon Journeys the series, episode 86, Mega Evolution versus Dynamax. Or is it Gigantamax? I get too confused. And we end this the uh, hyper class battle between uh, Matosi and B. Continues with uh, Lucario and Marchamp to still in the fist fight, but the cars have got out by kicking the four armed Tang. And so she finally uh, recalls Lucario and brings out Surfest. And he doesn't do that much damage to uh, Marchamp. Luckily, B brings out her uh, Lucha Bird to replace uh, Marchamp. Uh, I have to say, this is one of the, the disappointing parts of uh, the episode since when uh, Surfest was a uh, Firefest, there was a bit of a rivalry since uh, they lost to the Mexican Bird. And in this, yeah, Surfest loses. I think Surfest only had two wins under his belt before this. The one again. Sev Gorder when uh, it was still a fire fest and the Galade when it evolved into Surfest. So why couldn't it couldn't give him a win against uh, Halucha? It makes no sense. It would have been good for both uh, Lucario and Surfest to win against their respective rivals. But um, anyway, Pikachu is able to be uh, a Halucha, but Tosi has this weird uh, battle strategy to have a Pikachu uh, ground his Iron Tail to the ground and then use Quick Attack to make uh, Ultra Sonic Vibrations to make like, a, sh a shield to uh, deflect or not how much damage is done to Pikachu when Halucha uses a uh, Sky attack. Yeah, I don't know. And uh, loses a bit quickly to Graflock. Mostly because that uh, Graflock does throw up the air, and Pikachu is trying to be relaxed in the Octolock attack, and then start him Pikachu over and over again. But whatever. Um. Finally, Lucario facing off. Against uh, Octolock or, or Graflock, sorry. And he won by one move. What the hell? Did, why did Rays do this? This is a good uh, way to end a rivalry. I think they're just more focused on uh, the, the uh, Dynamax and the Mega Evolutions battle them and any of the rivals here. Ugh. I just... I don't... I just don't know. I can't retain anything else but that. Um... Then the final battle with the Dynamax Marshawn versus Mega Lucario turns up and I'd say both animations for the uh, Dynamax and Mega Evolutions was a uh, Pretty good. But where the hell was uh, the, the Lucario Knight? Like, uh, me, uh, Karina's Lucario has a band thing. Why doesn't uh, the Toshi's Lucario have something like it? Some of the shine from Lucario, like, sorry, Lucario's leg or something. Is that where it is? It's, it's a stupid. I heard they're not shown to make the Mega Stones or the yeah Mega Stones anymore for some reason. It's stupid. Uh, but we'll say the battle between Mega Lucario and Gigantamax Max Marchamp was kind of good, and Lucario finally learns a um, Steel type move. I think it's called a um, Metal Blast or something. Metal Ray. I kind of forget the move that was introduced. In the short and seal game, but mm. 
Anyway. Uh, I also like the part when, uh, when they're kind of mimicking the bomb flom and then, uh, the Toshi was, uh, the synced up to, uh, Lucario when he was telling him to, to, to use the final, uh, force palm. That was pretty good. And, yeah, he, and kind of looked tired after, uh, using Metal Blast or whatever. And it kind of makes sense that does a uh, hazard haste P, so. Hmm. And yeah, the Toshi wins, and he's now at 36th in the ranking. And um, B, that's yeah, taking it very well. Oh, yeah, and I gotta ask. Why is with all the series that's so. Uh, the Pokemon foot? Like Lucario's, Marshamp, and they also. So melee, or a. Uh, a bead foot. Does somebody on the animation team or writing team have a foot fetish? <sighs> anyway, uh, after about over, go Tosi, B, and uh, Karina just have a bit of talk, conversation. Tosi on his win, and Tosi was also be upset that he couldn't uh, see a uh, uh, Leon. Because he actually left when everyone's done and B saying that he yeah, is more fitting to me on the battlefield. And I just admit that uh, he actually enjoyed uh, the battle with Toys for One since uh, in the previous episode. As uh, Korean said that she doesn't enjoy uh, battles, he was more strict about them. And he finally calls uh, and talks about his name, saying that they'll battle again. And so, Thrown in the towel. Yeah. And, uh, episode ends with some silhouettes or images of uh, uh, Cynthia, uh, Raihan, Lance, and Leon. So they uh, hinting which one of them would be uh, towards his next uh, battle uh, challenge. And yeah, I think this episode is it, good, but has a lot of problems. And same thing with the whole uh, Mega Lucario uh, trilogy with this. I just wonder what the right for tanking. I'm also still seeing someone like get some sort of electricity come from Lucario's feet and his hand after he did a uh, aura spear to Graflock. I. I don't really get that. Maybe somebody else will mention what that is in a review. I'm just guessing. I, I guess it was just like a foreshadow or a hint for a uh, metal blast, but not a hundred percent sure. Just guessing, and yeah. Um, I do wish that the battle was a bit better. Maybe Surface could have been. Uh, be a uh, Hulusha, or they could have uh, have instead of Hulusha have be have a uh, that um a centipede Pokemon that one would have been good. Might not finish off the rival had with the uh, Hulusha, but still. And I did kind of expect for Pikachu to lose against the uh, Graflock. Like I said, the final battle between Graflock and Lucario. It was just bad. One move, really. And I don't think I don't even think that Graflock took that much damage compared to Lucario. Ugh, I, I don't know. And uh, I heard some stuff or some news of some episodes like uh, episode eighty eight and. A dragon of the Holy League Four or Drake of the Holy League Four is coming back for a uh, goes uh, trial mission for the project Mew to cast a uh, a Kingdra or a uh, seat no a uh, oh uh, yeah Kingdra I think it's Kingdra or Gudra oh Gudra the the evolved form the the third evolved form of a uh, horsey mm -hmm. that's good and there's a there's actually a 
preview for the winter special, which we started on the tenth and end on on the on the third and on the tenth. Um, yeah, interesting to say introducing the multiverse again, and there's Tosi as me in there as another the Tosi with is with the uh, as blue instead of red in some of the his clothes and younger versions of the Go Tosi. Uh, Hikaru, yeah, Hikaru, or Hikari, and Chloe. Yeah, really good. And seems like Team Rocket got to be more powerful. I'm trying to do with the dog and Pokey fighting, and the Infernape coming back. But I don't know if it's uh, the main universe is there. So Tosi's Infernape or one of the other uh, Tosi's Infernape, but. I wait to see. It's gonna be good. Now, episode eight, seven. Yeah, I know you hyped up. It was uh, an episode with the uh, new girl come to go and hear uh, at Chloe's school, and she uh, has a glacier. She's a bit of an ice queen, as the title says. Uh, it might be. Interesting. Who knows? Um, I would like to hear how anybody would think uh, the, the, the battle between the Tatosi versus B could have been done properly, but hmm, I think this is what, what Zerun is like. This is too rushed. But I even aim to hear some people consider it's more of a Gen 4 uh, anime than Gen 8 since I'm in a can I for that long, but uh, everybody has a different opinion. Anyway, yeah, that's it. See you guys.